Good morning, everybody, and greetings from modern Eisenhower City, capital of Skydustria. Now, you notice I turned my mini-map off. I have a reason for that. You'll also notice in my bedroom at my house. There is a reason for that as well. Uh, you may or may not notice that that block is missing. That is an oversight. I'll have to correct that at some point. And now I'm about to walk out my front door. And you'll recall that last time I kind of had a sandbar about there, along the entire length of this road. That is gone. You'll also notice that I built a completely new ship with a completely different design. Uh, you might also see the base of a red power volcano over there. Yes, yeah, off to the left there. Blah. Also, I dug out one deeper underneath my uh, driveway here. That way, if I have the ship rejoin the world and then have to recreate as a ship later, I don't have to worry about it. But let's go ahead and create it as a ship. All right. And now let's go ahead and get moving. All right. Let's power up a bit. I also cut that out so that I'd have a bit... Well, it was supposed to give me a better chance of making that corner. And that's even with the boat that's one narrower than it was previously. Alright. And now as I make this turn, hey, I made that turn cleanly. And you'll see those torches there. Uh, last episode, I had a bit of, well, ground clearing yet to do down here. I went ahead and took care of that. But once I make this turn here, you will see the biggest change to Eisenhower City. Well, okay. Maybe not yet. Maybe I have to get up into the roundabout. But yeah. You'll notice there's a bridge over the road. Uh, in the last part of episodes, I might have taken that a bit too tight. At any rate, in the last part of Episode 7, I was coming to the realization that my road network was too narrow to actually be viable. So, I had to spend time off-camera widening my road network. Problem is, a lot of my structures, in fact pretty much every structure in this part of Eisenhower City, was in the way. So I had to move, and I am not exaggerating, everything. But it gave me the opportunity, since I was having to move everything anyway, to actually go ahead and build for myself. And let's go ahead and turn off the engine here. To build myself a little bit of a pedestrian overpass so that I didn't have to swim across the streets here. Alright. Also, I moved my storehouse completely. Uh, although, the design hasn't changed all that much yet. I do have this ladder which is getting me up to the higher floors. I'll be replacing that with a proper staircase at some point once I figure out how I'm going to lay that out. Also, I extended this to six chests on a side on this floor. And I added, uh, well, room for six double chests on each side on this floor. I have nine of the twelve right now. Alright, and now let's go up to this pedestrian walkway here. That is actually the smokestack for the lumber mill. I raised its altitude a bit to ensure that it stood out properly above the uh, walkway. I mean, it would have been legal, I think, as it was previously, but it wouldn't have stood out enough. It wouldn't have really made a lot of sense. So here is the new workshop. Uh, you'll notice big window over here is gone. Also, instead of it being a rectangle, a square like it was before, it's now a bit more of an L shape. And I left nothing in the furnaces, which is fine. Alright, so now let's leave the lumber, or not the lumber mill, the workshop, and let's head over to the Bunyan LLC lumber mill. I've changed up uh, what this lumber mill makes, mostly because I couldn't remember what it was supposed to make. 
I did a little bit of a test with this crafting table to see if putting stuff in here I could uh, by hand uh, use this to craft stuff and have it pulled automatically out of the chest. Short answer, no. Alright. And yes, that day since last injury sign is still there. The only thing I did with this smokestack was extend it upwards in height. It, it did not move at all. And this is the new break room. I hope you like the new design of the break room. Alright. And now one last place to go. And that is across the street to the elementary school. Also, I hope you appreciate the uh, new stairway that's set up. It's a straight stairway on that side near the uh, uh, storehouse. This is a switchback, and then this side is a spiral here for the school. Mostly because I could. Alright, and now I'm at street level. And now I'm in the schoolhouse. Now it looks a bit different, particularly here in the front of the room. It's still got the same 4x4 configuration of seats. It's still got a teacher's desk. But now there's a little room back here with room for another desk. Now, whether this would be the teacher's desk or a principal's or separate principal's office, eh, meh. I honestly don't care too much at this point. Alright. And yes, that is still the notice board. I have not replaced the notice board. I haven't even touched it. That actually stayed put. Uh, there is one other thing that I did, and I suppose I could turn the mini-map on so that you could see it. Let me exit the menu here. Oh, I guess I didn't get that filled up with water, did I? Oh, well. I'll get to that in a later episode. It's not urgent, honestly, for right now. It's just a uh, road access to the uh, back corner of my industrial area here. And I'm going to have to call this first industrial area simply because I'm probably going to wind up having so many factories that I'm actually going to need multiple industrial zones. In the meantime, there are, you can actually kind of see on the map, uh, three sites for factories near the lumber mill. And let me actually go ahead. Actually, I have the stone in my inventory, don't I? I also have water and lava buckets. Which is great. And do we have any uh, stone bricks? Uh, let me think. I would have put the stone bricks in this chest here. I have one. Yeah. Not a lot of stone bricks. Alright. Now I have three factories, like I said, that I want to build. I think I want to start off with... Yeah. The one factory that's actually required to complete stage three. Alright, so now let's go ahead and turn the engine on on this thing. And let's go up to the U-turn here at the end of Meiji Boulevard. And this is the north end of Meiji Boulevard, and it's the final north end of Meiji Boulevard. And as you can see, making the roads 13 blocks wide gives me room for a very wide turn, which is exactly what I want. Now, the question is, do I dare try to park in that little... You know, I could, actually. Yeah, I think I could. It's not a huge space. But yeah, I can park in here. All right. So now let's go ahead and get out, and... Oh yeah, also took the liberty of giving myself a little bit of an alley for future reference. Uh, it's also going to make it easier for me to have relatively easy access to my foundry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn... Blah! Yeah, I'm, I seem to be experiencing a bit of lag today. Alright, so let's go ahead and put stone bricks in the corners. I'm going to use stone bricks for the corners here. Why not? Let's grab some stone as well. So that I can make the floor here. Alright. Now, now that I've got this part of the floor, I suppose I could have grabbed a sign or two, couldn't I? 
but oh well. Alright, so I've pretty much decided that, yeah, I think this is going to be the entrance here. So let's go ahead and build myself a quick little doorway. Okay, that's fine actually, I can work with that. And I know I should probably be shaking this up with something else, but oh wow. Alright, now in case you're wondering why I have water and lava, it's so that I can do this. Alright? Let me think here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the stone like so. And I should... I did not want that stone there. Crap. Alright, at any rate, put that stone like so. And I know I... And I know it's not very good contrast, but... Uh, only so much I can do. Alright? So let's go... Here, oh, let me think here. Yeah, so if I go three out like so, and then I put this wall here like so. No, I didn't want the water there, did I? No, not really. Okay, and I'll go ahead and delete those two as well. I'll put a cobblestone there just temporarily, all right? And I apologize for the darkness. Alright. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lava here. And the water here. Alright. And now... Hmm. Okay, well. <laughs> it looks like I'm going to have water spilling out of this hole. But at least the... Uh, Hey, it's a working cobblestone generator. Yeah, I'm just doing this honestly mostly to prove that it is, in fact, a working cobblestone generator. I'm not actually going to spend too much time with this. And disappointingly, day one is already finished. And to make matters worse, my supply of smooth stone is running a bit low. I am not going to have nearly enough, but hey, I have a stoneworks. Oh god, I just realized I really didn't want to, yeah, so I'll go ahead and do that, and like so, put that there, and then that like so, and go ahead and put that there, and I'm officially out of stone, unfortunately, so... Yeah. Well, I do have one sign. I think I'll go ahead and place the sign. I have a bed in the workshop for now. Alright. Corporate name, corporate name, corporate name. Ah, what would be a good corporate name for a stoneworks? Rocky Inc. Yeah. Stoneworks, yep. Alright. Not required for the current stage. That honor goes to the foundry, which I think I want to go ahead and do next. Alright. So now let's go ahead and turn on the engine. And now I have to back up. And... Yeah, let's go ahead and make my way out of here. Ah, and now I have to make a U-turn through this intersection here. Alright. So I'm actually going to go ahead and make the U-turn slowly. Ah, and I was a little bit too wide with that turn. So let's actually go ahead and stop here. Yeah. Yeah, it's working out a lot better since I've widened the roads. Alright. Let's see. Buckets go in this chest here, as does the champagne. Let's see, the sandstone goes in there. The cobblestone goes in there. Stone bricks I'll put up in here. Let me think. What do I have? I have... Hmm. I don't really want to make a foundry out of 
logs. Uh, let's see, do I, what do I have in terms of marble? Uh, I've got a bunch of it. Yeah, I, I should probably consider making some marble brick out of it. Um, oh, right, I separated my ores out. They're now in this chest. Also, I did a bit of uh, mining between episode 7 and 8. And in during the process, I found a few... Uh, basically, they are chests in the middle of a 3x3 three three pad of... A combination of cobblestone and mossy cobblestone. Oh, also, I just realized any eye is still in cheat mode. Alright, now it's back to normal. I was doing a little bit of experimentation earlier, and uh, I guess I left it in cheat mode after that. I forgot to put it out. Anyway, uh, yeah. So that's where all those artifacts come from. It will be quite a long while before I actually do anything with any of those. But hey, they're there. I uh, also have a crap ton of iron ore. Let me see what do I have in... No, this chest here. Exactly enough iron to pull this off. Do I have the cobblestone? I have... Yes, I have the cobblestone to pull it off. Alright. So now I'm going to go ahead and jump in here. Alright. And turn the engine back on. Make the same U-turn. I know I'm beginning to sound like a broken record, because I'm about to make another U-turn. Uh, and let's make sure I get wide enough that I avoid crashing into the inner wall. Uh, for some reason, the inner wall seems to have a bigger collision box when I'm in a boat. Or perhaps it's a weird method, method they use to calculate the size of the collision box of the boat itself. Alright. Yeah, a few stages from now, I am going to be uh, updating this into something that would be a little bit closer to road legal. Alright. No, not E. R. E is open up any I. R is exit boat. Exit seat. Alright. Alright, and now what I'm going to do is put the marble up here like so. I suppose I do wish the texture was a little bit smoother, but, oh well, what can I really do? Alright, so let's go ahead and make that for high. You know what, I'll go ahead and use this, yeah, just a little bit of uh, edging around the edge of the roof. Alright. Now before I go too much, well, actually, it's astonishingly close to daylight. Hmm. Who knows how far I'll get this episode. At any rate, though, all right, let's go ahead and make a furnace. And then, and this is from Industrial Craft, so this will be the first episode that has the Industrial Craft tag attached to it. You'll recall I added the Build Craft tag from episode 6, and that was solely because of the automatic workbenches in the uh, lumber mill. Episode 7 saw the Ships and Boats mod added because of my little ship, which I ended up having to basically completely delete from the world somehow, because it was glitching out a little bit when I tried to have it rejoin the world. Uh, yeah, a little bit ugly. Not helped, of course, by the narrow roads making it a bit glitchy to work with. Wider roads definitely help on that front. Okay, let's go ahead and... Get this edging sorted out. In case you're wondering, the iron furnace is realistically about as far as I can get in Industrial Craft this episode. Or not not even this episode, but this entire stage. I can't really go any further with Industrial Craft. Why can't I go any further with Industrial Craft? Well, unfortunately, I'm not legally allowed to use redstone in this stage. I have to wait... Well, next stage I get redstone, which means that that's why I'm going to start getting into industrial craft in earnest. It's also, I also have an interesting, I have a couple of interesting thoughts for stuff to do with red power, even in stage four. Even though the alloy furnace, which is a major element of red power, won't be legal until stage five, I think? Yeah, 
stage five will allow me to have uh, the the uh, red power alloy furnace, which is going to be great. It's going to allow me to start up a few things. Uh, no diamonds until stage six, I think. Yeah, diamonds I'm allowed to use in uh, stage six. Uh, needless to say, stage six, I think, is when things can really start to get interesting. It's also going to be, I should point out, an incredibly long stage. <laughs> Just because of the incredibly long list of requirements for stage six. Needless to say, the stages beyond stage six are mostly about uh, specialty stuff, specific details of specific mods. I have one stage that is... let me think. Yeah, stage 9, which is incidentally the first stage in which I'm actually legally allowed to do anything with Thomcraft. Uh, stage 9 is pretty much dedicated to Thomcraft. There's only a, one or two requirements, and those are plot-related setup for the subsequent stage. In the meantime, I'm heading back to my storehouse because I need more marble. Ah, let me think. Stage 8 is where I go nuclear. Yeah, stage 8. In case you haven't been paying attention to the bug in the lower left-hand corner of the screen on each episode... Uh, there are 17 stages in this challenge. I build a nuclear power plant in stage 8. Yeah, it, it can get crazier from there. Uh, stage 10 is... Well, there's a plot point connected to stage 10. Uh, let me think. Stage, two, stage 12 is where I actually have to build an airport, and a working airport at that. Yes, believe it or not, it is actually possible to build a working airport with the uh, ships and boats mod. Uh, I'll explain how a bit later. I don't know if I'll get there quite yet. Alright, yeah, I think I need one more uh, set of four. I might as well, anyway. Alright. Yeah. Alright, but at any rate... Yeah, let's see here. Alright. Yeah, I think that's going to be my break room. That's the adjoining wall. So, there's no point putting windows on that wall there. Should I grab some glass? Maybe. I honestly can't say I care enough at this point. Alright. And what I'm actually going to do, I think, is to try to give this factory a bit more of... Well... At least make it a little bit... And I missed calculated that, didn't I? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that should be better. Alright. And now I'll make room for the windows on the other side. Yeah, I might as well keep that because that's going to be part of the roof. Alright, so two in. Two in. Wait a minute. Why did it replace the marble with marble bricks? Alright, yeah. And then I'll just put one in the center like that. Yeah, that actually works for me. Alright. Yeah. And honestly, I think it's going to be off of this. Or, I could even go a step further and say that, it's, that the smokestack is going to be off of this corner. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and build a base. A 3x3. Three three. Don't have enough marble bricks quite yet to finish it. So, let's go ahead and do this like so. Alright. So, I get rid of that part of the marble I just placed, because it's kind of in the way of where the smokestack's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff to work with here. Alright. Uh, let me see here. Well, that changes the calculus on this wall a little bit. Not by much. Alright. And in case you're wondering, that is going to be the smokestack. Now, because this is going to have a furnace in it, and in fact, I'm actually going to go ahead and place the furnace down right now. 
And the other thing I'm going to do is, since this is going to be a foundry, I need to go ahead and grab a sign to mark it as the foundry, and probably another sign to indicate that it's going to generate iron ingots. And in case you're wondering, I am playing on peaceful. Honestly, I'm probably going to be doing most of my construction from this point on on peaceful. Uh, the problem is I've spent so much time underground that I basically lit so much of that area underground up that I'm now actually getting mobs spawning above ground. And I took that corner too tight again. Oh, come on. Yeah, see, that's the main reason why I had to widen the road. Because evidently the collision box on this thing when it rounds a corner is wider than the boat itself. Alright. So now let's go ahead and make my turnaround here. And if I can line that up so that I can walk straight out of it and into the storehouse. Hey, hey that works. Alright. Sandstone goes in this chest here. Now, wait a minute, I think the iron, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put four up of that. And grab six coal. Man, I think I'll hold on to the marble. I need to roof that structure. I need to roof the foundry. Oh, right, I was going to make two signs, wasn't I? Or not make, but grab. I have plenty of spare signs. For now, although I won't for much longer. Alright. So now what I'm going to do is go up here. Make the corner nice and too wide. Okay, and now I have to veer over to the right-hand side of the road. So that I can make a nice wide turn into what is currently a parking spot. Uh, needless to say, off camera, I am going to be uh, fixing this so that it is an actual proper road and not merely a parking spot. All right. Wait, that was the T button. There we go. All right. So now that I've got this sorted out, let's go ahead and go over here. Yeah, let's see. All right. Oh, no, I was going to put the foundry on the front here, so... Let's see, a nice name for a company would... So this would be... I earn... I earn Werken Foundry. And, let's see, I think I'll use this wall for the final product. So, iron ingots. All right, and now what I'm going to do is take the iron ore and smelt it. Now, before you say something about the Mace Raider, remember, no redstone. No redstone means no Mace Raider, at least not legally at this point in the game. Uh, next stage, I think I can build a Mace Raider. Yeah, I can build a Mace Raider next Boy, I'm experiencing a lot of lag right now. Alright. I uh, won't go any further than that. Uh, instead, I'll go ahead and round that corner around. Alright, and it looks like I have, in fact, run out of marble. Alright. Let's see, where am I? Well, hmm. You know what I can do? No, I'm not going to mine cobblestone. Uh, not on camera. It'd be a bit boring, frankly. Uh, instead, I think I'm actually going to go ahead. I do have, shockingly enough, a mine shaft, or perhaps I should say an access to a ravine, accessible from within Eisen within the borders of Eisenhower City. All right. And in order to get there, I'm actually going to be stopping in the roundabout. So let's get up to the roundabout.
And yes, one of the stage requirements is to make that monument at least 11 tall. I'm pretty sure I know how I'm going to do it. Way too early on that turn. Yeah, that's probably going to be my single biggest complaint with the Ships and Boats mod, is that I have to take turns super tight. Alright, let's see here. Can I jump from here? Yes. And the access is... Okay, so it's right here. Alright. And it actually used to go up here, but when I had to move the... Or rather, widen the roundabout, it wound up being in the way. Yes, in case you couldn't tell, I already did a bit of exploration down here. I mentioned a few episodes ago that I actually died of a fall... Uh, while working on the roundabout. That there, that column of sand right there is actually... Or was, yeah, it was very near there, anyway, where I actually fell. Alright. Now that does go down, but I'm not going to take it down. No, I'm actually going to go ahead and... Uh, let's see, jump up here. Like so. Let me see here. What would be a good way to get access to the marble? I've I've built a staircase up here, which takes me up here, then over here, and into what can only be described as an uber uh, stockpile of tin ore. Yeah. And the worst part is, I don't know if I'm actually going to get around to mining it before I leave stage 4. And keep in mind that once I leave stage 4... Uh, that's it. I can never come down here again. All right, excuse me. Throat got a little bit dry there. Uh, let's see here. And yes, it is nightfall on day two. All right, what I'd like to do is at least uh, finish off with a stack. Never mind, I just ran out of pickaxe. <laughs> All right, so it looks like I'm going to be heading back to the surface. You know what? I'm on peaceful. I can survive that drop. Alright. So, out and around the edge of the ravine here. Up the... Uh, bleh. If I can hit this. There we go. Alright, up the staircase here. Alright. Out of the ravine back to the surface, and like I said, I'm playing on Peaceful, so no risk of hostile mobs. And yeah. Alright, so it looks like back to the... Okay, that didn't seem to work. Okay, for some reason, I can't jump right now. Great. This lag. Oh, finally. I make it on board my ship. Okay. Alright, so let's turn in a little bit closer to the roundabout here. Make sure I'm not making the turn too tight. <clears throat> yeah. And I hate to say it, but at this point I think I'm going to go ahead, head on home, and call it in... Uh, well, speed up a bit so that I can get home in a timely, timely fashion. Okay, too quick. Alright. And down Bauhaus Avenue. There's the home on the left. For now, there is an expansion actually do this stage. Alright. So yeah, let's actually go ahead... Whoa, 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 I am going way fast for this. And shockingly, I... Whoa. Okay. Hmm. Uh-oh. Okay, I think it finally stopped. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead, uh, run into my front door here. 
Oh boy. Ah, productive even with all the lag. And with that, uh, this has been Skydustria, everybody. See you next time. Please rate, comment, and or subscribe.